Theater and art come together in the Hopewell's first production of the season. Stick around and we'll tell you all about it in this week's After Hours Report. Hello and welcome to the After Hours Report. I'm Maggie Young, and this weekend, the Hopewell Theater in Youngstown presents their first show of the 2021-2022 season, 20th Century Blues. I don't know what drew us together. Something that we recognized in each other, but didn't know yet. We are finally opening after the pandemic shut down and so forth with this wonderful, wonderful show, 20th Century Blues. 20th Century Blues is a terrific play. It's a contemporary play uh, written in the last few years. It takes place in 2017, and the main characters are all women, and they are over 60, uh, which is really nice to see on stage, to have older women presented as real people. When I found this play two years ago, I knew we had to do it <laughs> because I knew we had so much talented older women actors in this town. I'm really excited about this show because most theater is designed around men. Men are the leads, the story's about men, it's about their issues, and as a matter of fact, 70% of the lead roles in theater are men. So when Pat Foltz found this show and we realized it was all about women and their issues, and their lives, and not only that, but women of a certain age who never get to be on stage. I was just really excited to be a part of this. We have assembled a, just a tremendous cast. Janine Reese is the show's assistant director. She says this first show of the season will feature six cast members. We've got Pat Foltz as Danny. We've got uh, Lynn Nelson Rafferty as her mother, Bess. Kim Akins as Mac, Stephanie Cambro as uh, Syl, the real estate agent, Brenda Ziveth as uh, Gabby, the veterinarian, and we have Nate Beagle as Simon, Danny's son. This is my turn, and you are all a part of it. Uh, Danny is a photographer, uh, and she uh, is just been given a retrospective of her work at the Museum of Modern Art. So she's trying to decide what she wants to be remembered for, <laughs> what kind of pictures of hers. And of course, the museum thinks it will be the pictures that she's known for. Uh, and she kind of throws a kink into that because for 40 years, uh, she's been each year, every year, taking a photograph of these women that she met in jail in 1972 at a protest march of some sort. And so she's been taking pictures with them for 40 years and she decides that's what I want to show. Um, and things don't really go well when she's trying to explain to her friends, we're going to show you at the Museum of Modern Art. And so the show is about how do they resolve that. Look at us! I am on deadline to pile the last story that I may ever write for an honest to God newspaper you can hold in your hands. How can you revel in getting your name above the fold when there is no fold? Mac is a complicated lady. She's a, she's a high ranking journalist, she's a lesbian, she's probably an alcoholic and she is just as non-sentimental as any character you're ever gonna see on stage. She is just not into the sentiment. So, she's fun. But then I spent so many nights thinking how we did it wrong, and I was too strong, and I would have been alone, and so we went back from outer space. I think you want me to let me hear you, and I said, look at my face. I should have changed that too long. I should have changed it They are 40 years good, good friends, as different as can be, each one of them. And you kind of wonder, wow, what drew them to each other? And, but you'll see what drew them to each other. This show is funny, it's heartfelt, it's sincere in a way that's not cloying, and it's about the issues that 
when you reach a certain age, you will probably have experienced. Women are concerned about their careers and concerned about their families and concerned about their health. And this show covers all of that. And the one thing it doesn't cover is women in love, because we've done that. So it's a, it's a great show. I think anybody can get something out of it. It's very real. You, you'll feel very comfortable with this is how women who have known each other for 40 years talk to each other. The play goes through you know, their, what's happening in their lives, how they're dealing with, you know, with aging, they're dealing with their careers, with their families. Uh, and it's, it's really funny and also really touching. In addition to 20th Century Blues, Regina Reese, president of the Hopewell Theater's Board of Trustees, says there will also be another kind of show to check out. We were thinking about the set, and we wanted the set to be beautiful. The play takes place in the New York City apartment of Danny, the photographer. And we figured that her backstory would be that she would have lots of art because she has artistic friends. So where are we going to get art? We want contemporary art. I happen to have gone to the YWCA Women's Art Show this summer. And I said, they have this beautiful art. So we said, why don't we ask the women in town to display their art and we'll sell it for them. So that's exactly what we did. So we put the call out and we have 33 beautiful pieces of art. They're all for sale. All the proceeds go to the artist. And um, when you come to the theater to see the show, come and look at the art. Uh, several of the pieces are on stage. The rest are back here in the lobby and then downstairs in our lounge. All manner of media, uh, watercolors, prints, um, it's, it's a couple of ceramics, some fiber art, all sorts of stuff. It's really cool. And it, it's, it's just nice to have a different, um, another me art, artistic medium to go along with uh, the play. So, and give you something to look at during intermission and before the show as well. Showtimes for 20th Century Blues this weekend are Friday and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Then next weekend, there will be a second lineup of shows on September 10th and 11th at 7.30 p.m. with a Sunday matinee on September 12th at 2 p.m. To get tickets and find out more about the show and the rest of the Hopewell Theater season, visit hopewelltheater.org. To come into the theater, uh, you need to present uh, or show proof of vaccination or uh, a negative COVID test from within 48 hours. And uh, please, if you'll just keep your nose and mouth covered with your mask, it should be a nice time. I know less than ideal circumstances, but it's what we have to do to keep everybody safe and to be able to put our show on. Jane and I read a book aloud to each other last night. That was fun. Elder fun. Ew, but what happens after was fun for all ages. This show is everything you want from a night at the theater. It, you will laugh, you will cry, uh, you will be entertained, you will make you think. Um, it's, it's just a wonderful evening at the theater. You don't get to see women of age on stage very often unless they have dementia or Alzheimer's or they're dying or something. And we aren't. <laughs> These are women at the peak, uh, going for it, still doing what makes them uh, strong, independent women. Uh, so come see that for a change. I really think women should come support this show because it's about their lives. And it's about a show that reflects who they are and how they shine because we don't get to shine after a certain age. So really hoping the women in the community will come out and get to see themselves on stage for a change. And as always, you can find even more of what's happening in our five county region by going to afterhoursyoungstown.com and clicking on the list. Once you've browsed that, be sure to click on the news tab for all the latest entertainment news. And while you're at it, make sure you click that subscribe button at the top of the page to sign up for our weekly Entertainment Digest email. Thank you all so much for joining me for this week's After Hours Report. Support local theater this weekend, and I will see you all next week. Built for the 21st century American workforce, Eastern Gateway Community College has two campuses and is a national leader in online learning. 
EGCC.edu is a digital gateway where 30,000 students are quickly transforming their financial futures through degrees, certificates, transferable credits, and higher paying jobs. And now, residents of the Mahoning Valley can enroll in summer classes for free. It's the EGCC Summer Guarantee. Eastern Gateway, America's new workforce starts here.